The objective of this lecture is to provide a summary of the conventional diagnostics and an introduction to evidence-based integrative management for canine splenic hemangiosarcoma. This is a really broad topic, so the goal of this lecture today is just um, to give a brief summary of where we are at uh, in our updates for conventional treatment, and then to actually present some of the biomedical evidence that supports the benefits that I'm seeing in a clinical setting with the addition of herbal therapies in some of our hemangiosarcoma patients. This is a diagram of just a fraction of all of the things that go into tumor growth, tumor metastasis, tumor cell uh, death and survival. And all of these little bubbles um, are potential tumor targets or therapeutic targets for cancer control. You can see in here that we have things like um, NF-kappa-beta over here on the left. A lot of our herbals um, address this caspase um, uh, mechanism right here. Bax, BCL2 are all important in the triggers for cell suicide in the tumor cells and oftentimes are deranged in tumor cells so that they don't have the normal cell death mechanisms intact anymore. P10 is a really important pathway as well, particularly in things like osteosarcoma. So you can see that um, these pathways are very complicated. And one of the challenges that we have in cancer treatment when we're trying to approach uh, tumor control through a targeted cancer therapy is that you could block one or two of these pathways and a lot of times the cancer cell can find ways around that blockade. So one of the reasons, again, that I'm uh, putting up this really complicated illustration is that with our uh, Chinese herbal therapies, we're using formulas that have multiple different herbs in them that all have different mechanisms of action. And many of those formulas have been put together um, in such a way which is fascinating given how long ago these were um, these recipes were made that target different pathways and make it harder for um, the tumor cells to get around our treatments. So again, a lot of times I'll end up looking up you know some of these things in these pathways in conjunction with the herb names to try to get more information from a biomedical standpoint of how we're impacting patient survival with our treatments here. So now I'm going to shift gears and really talk about our integrative therapy perspective for treating uh, canine splenic hemangiosarcoma. This is Sandy. She was one of my very first success stories with herbal therapy. She's got a very dedicated owner that um, works with the local Golden Retriever Rescue Organization here. And Sandy actually presented to her primary care doctor with a hemoabdomen and had visible masses in the liver at that time. So she was not a surgical candidate. And her mom really wanted to try anything that she could to uh, keep her around with a good quality of life for as long as possible. So we started her on um, some herbal therapies. And she ended up living for 31 months without any surgery. She did have a few episodes of a pretty significant hemoabdomen, but we were able to get her through those with aggressive fluid therapy. And um, at the time that we lost her, her mom um, sent her for necropsy. And so we actually were able to confirm with biopsy that she did indeed have hemangiosarcoma. And it had actually metastasized to her liver, her intestines, and her pancreas. So um, this, she's a really good example of what we can achieve with herbal therapies in certain situations and be able to provide a good quality of life for these guys. 
that's very meaningful for people without any chemotherapy at all. So she was my big inspiration for moving forward with um, my kind of studies on how herbal therapies are working and how it is possible that we could get survival times that significant with pretty mild intervention as far as side effects go. Unipayao is one of the main treatments that I use in all of these patients. It normalizes clotting, prevents bleeding, and uh, recently actually has been shown to have anti-hemangiosarcoma activity in a laboratory setting in concentrations that they feel are probably achievable with oral dosing. So based on that uh, study that was put out, they are now doing some subsequent investigation on the biomedical activity of Unipayao. The main, it's um, noto ginseng is Sanchi. The main active ingredient in this is ginsenicides. And um, these have been shown to inhibit VEGF activity. And remember, VEGF is one of the molecules, and VEGF receptor is one of the main receptors in um, angiogenesis for these tumors.